Yo, what's up guys, Left First here, and today we are going to do a review on the newest random booster, Random Booster Volume 12, The Prize Bay, Dead Hades. Now I'm only going to do a review on Dead Hades because honestly this is the coolest one, like no one even cares about these other Beyblades, like honestly, I was going to do a review on all of them, but then like I was just like, they just look like Beyblades, I don't really know what to say about them. I guess I'll do a mini review on them real quick, like a few sentences uh, about all of them. Alright, so, uh, Regulus, this one looks like a vampire, that's all I got to say about that one. Vika Culkin, this one's a pretty thick Beyblade. Like, look at all these thick parts. Vika Culkin, it's such a thick layer that it has the very thick dagger frame, and finally, it has the, um... Yard driver, which is extra thick. The next one we have Deep Chaos. Deep Chaos, it's a, it's a pink Takira Tomy Beyblade. I'm actually so surprised. Takira Tomy actually does not release pink Beyblades for some reason. So this is like one of the few pink Beyblades out there. It's a pretty cool Beyblade. The next one we have Maximum Garuda and it's Albino Banana. Not really much to say about that one. Next one, Halloween theme, I guess, because we're going with like vampires and now we have zombies. This one kind of looks like a zombie to me. I don't know what to say about that one. Finally, next, this is Hell Salamander. Looks like, um, Root Beer. Yeah, totally root here. And finally, we have Archer, Hercules, OP Bay, but for some reason it comes with the heavy disc. Like, really, Takira Tomy, stop giving us, like, non numbered discs. That's stupid. Anyway, so yeah, that was my review on all the irrelevant Beyblades from this set. Let's look at the Beyblade that everyone cares about. Dead Hades. Alright, so here's Dead Hades right here. And honestly, I wasn't really a big fan of Dead Hades when it came out, when it was announced, but just having it in hand, oh my gosh, this thing looks so cool. It looks so epic. It looks amazing. Amazing! Here's the layer of dead Hades. It has kind of a rounder design with some uh, jaggier features. Definitely something like a balance type because balance types are round so they have like stamina but they also have jaggy features to have more like attack. It's like right in the middle. Really like I just generic balance type but the thing that uh, makes this Beyblade stand out is the amount of metal Takara Tomy put on this thing. It looks like they took like a bunch of metal put on the layer and then a Takara Tomy employee was just like alright just add some more and they're like alright is that enough? And they're like more. Alright, is that enough? More! And they just add, like, a whole warehouse of metal on this thing. Like, look how much metal this Beyblade has! There is just so much metal, and its design looks so amazing, too. Now, sadly, uh, if we look at the teeth, the teeth aren't that good. The teeth are actually horrendous. They're actually, to put in comparison, I'm gonna put, uh, Deep Chaos's teeth on screen, and then compare that to, like, uh, Dead Hades teeth. I think Deep Chaos's teeth are actually slightly taller, which that's just sad. When your teeth are smaller than Deep Chaos's, you, you know they're bad. Anyway, moving on to the next part. It's the 11 turn uh, disc and frame. Let's just look at the 11 disc real quick. Here's the 11 disc. Not really much to say about this thing. It released on the Achilles and it's not a good disc at all. Probably like the second worst disc to be released. Probably the second lightest disc besides 12. At least it doesn't come with 12 guys, all right? I know every Beyblade that comes with 12 it's just horrible 12 is like the worst disc out there 11 is the second worst so at least it's not the worst anyway moving on to the next part this is the newest frame this is the turn frame now what the turn frame does it's basically the same thing as the um lift frame where you can have it in one mode and then you turn it around you turn it around and then it turns to the other mode which honestly i don't really understand what's the point like what's the difference between this mode and this mode. Like, I honestly don't even, I don't even see a difference. They look exactly the same to me. They look like they're really low to the ground, so they're gonna scrape. So this frame probably sucks. It's probably gonna scrape a lot. It's gonna be horrible, but at least it's a really nice red color. Like, look at this red frame. It actually looks so nice. Very nice looking frame. Moving on to the final part that comes on this Beyblade. It is the Zephyr Dash uh, driver here is Zephyr Dash. Overall, Zephyr was released on Nova Neptune way back in the Singularity days. It's a whole flat driver and it's pretty epic. Zephyr is one of my favorite drivers. It's just an amazing driver because it has like attack power, but it's also not super aggressive and it has decent stamina. I just love it. And I love how they gave it the dash treatment where it's like a tighter spring. Now, and the colors look so nice. It goes so well with the Beyblade, kind of like purple and red. It's just perfect. So yeah, let me just put this Beyblade together real quick. Here is Dead Hades, 11 turn, um, Zephyr Dash. And again, beautiful Beyblade. Also, uh, with the Zephyr Dash, the Dash, um, driver, its teeth actually do not seem that bad. The Zephyr Dash makes the teeth actually decent, so it's probably gonna have, like, decent burst resistance. We'll see. I'll do a battle between him and all the random boosters. Maybe I'll do a tournament tomorrow. I don't know. I have, actually, I have so many things to do, guys, because I got so many things in one day. Like, today's Saturday, the day I'm recording this, probably gonna upload this video on Saturday. I got the random boosters, then I got the, um, 
the new Mugen set thing with the new uh Eclipse, Dual Eclipse or whatever. I don't, I don't know what it's called. It's like, is it called Dual Eclipse? I don't think it's called Dual Eclipse. I think it's called like Left Right Eclipse or something. And I also got the Beyblade game. So like, I don't know what to do. So maybe I'll do a battle between these guys later this week. Maybe tomorrow I'll unbox the Mugen Stadium. And then the day after that, I'll do like a gameplay thing on like the new Switch game that comes out. It's so epic guys. There's so much Beyblade things to come out. And I'm sorry for the short video. I was going to make an extreme, I was actually recording an extremely long video of unboxing the random Boosters, but then I was just like no nobody wants to watch me struggle open uh, cardboard boxes That just too because like most of the video was me struggling complaining about opening cardboard boxes anyway So yeah, I guess that was my review of dead Hades not really a review since I didn't really test it out that much I actually tested it out a bit off-camera and it is a decent Beyblade surprising It doesn't burst that much because of the Zephyr uh, dash tip even though it has like really weak teeth So yeah, remember to rate comment and subscribe, please. I like I like subscribers. Let's get like a hundred eventually i mean we're gonna hit 100k maybe in a few weeks just kidding probably like in a year <laughs> anyway so yeah have a nice day see you guys later stay tuned for tomorrow's video actually i'll let you guys decide tomorrow do you want me to upload uh the switch game the beyblade for switch game or do you want me to upload the moog in stadium leave it in the comments below and yeah see you guys later have a nice day if you can tell i don't know why but i'm in a really good mood right now <laughs> i guess because i got like a bunch of new stuff and a bunch of new beyblades it's gonna be amazing anyway see you guys later have a nice day left first out